Regardless of whether or not believe in God, most scientists agree that the cosmic codes appear to exist. Everything in the universe is determined by the fundamental forces of nature. The strength of those forces are characterized by numbers called fundamental constants that are so sensitive that if they change by just a little bit, the universe as we know it wouldn't be here. It seems, and we don't completely understand why, that the laws of physics, laws of cosmology, laws of how the universe evolved, seem to be very special. Of course they're special, everybody would expect them to be special, but they're special in a way that's unexpected. They seem to be special in the way that is just very, very conducive to our own existence. For example, if the rate of expansion of the universe right after the Big Bang had changed by one part in a quintillion, a quintillion is one with 18 zeros after it, the universe would continue to expand or collapse back on itself, and none of this would be possible. To illustrate just how small a number one part in a quintillion is, imagine all the grains of sand on this beach. In fact, imagine all the grains of sand in all the world's beaches. That number's probably somewhere around a quintillion. In this analogy, if all that sand represented the rate of expansion of the universe right after the Big Bang, how many grains of sand would I need to add or subtract to wreck the universe? Just one grain, one in a quintillion. That's how precise things had to be for us to be here. Or let's say an example of gravitational constant. Imagine Why is gravity so much weaker than the other forces? Well, we don't really know, but here's what we do know. If it were just even a little bit stronger, Stars would burn out too quickly. They wouldn't live long enough for life to evolve. Instead of stars, instead of galaxies, we'd have black holes. We can't live in a black hole. I mean, you know, science fiction, maybe you can live in a black hole, but we can't really. An early example comes from the great astronomer Johannes Kepler, who was obsessed with understanding a different number, why the sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. And he worked for decades trying to explain this number, but he never succeeded. Why do we humans find ourselves on a planet at this particular distance instead of any of the other possibilities? And again, that's a question we can answer. Those planets which are much closer to a star like the sun would be so hot that our form of life wouldn't exist. And those planets that are much farther away from the star, well, they're so cold that, again, our form of life would not take hold. So we find ourselves on a planet at this particular distance simply because it yields conditions vital to our form of life. So everything seems to be almost on a knife edge, that if you were to change the rules of physics, the laws of physics, even a little bit, the world as we know it wouldn't exist. I th I don't reject the possibility that there may have been an intelligence that in some way or another was involved in the creation of the universe. I don't reject it. Not at all. I simply ask if it's true. How do you describe it? <laughs> These are just a few examples of the exceedingly sensitive precision which are essential for life on Earth to have emerged and to survive. Yet even these examples are sufficient to definitely reveal that the Earth and the Universe could not have came to being as a result of a number of consecutive coincidences. The concept of precision that began to be implied in 20th century is a further evidence of Almighty Allah's creation.